Sometimes you want to drill a hole all the way through a piece of wood, but sometimes you need to drill only part way through to a specific depth. For example, when I built this cabinet, I needed to drill a gazillion holes just deep enough to seat shelf pegs on one side of the wood without any of the holes poking through the other side. For the first couple of holes, I used the old standby tape on the bit. But tape tends to get chewed up pretty quick, so for this project, I really needed some kind of gizmo. There are lots of depth stop gizmos on the market, mostly sets of metal rings that you clamp onto the bit with a set screw. But I didn't want to have to hunt for the right size ring for the bit, hunt for the right Allen wrench for the set screw, or risk dulling the bit by clamping something metal onto it. I also didn't want to take the time to run to the hardware store or wait for a gizmo to get delivered. A drill press would have been great, but I don't have one. Rods like this that clamp onto drills are fine for rough work like drilling in concrete, but I don't trust them for precision work. All in all, my commercial options didn't look real promising. So I tried something entirely different, and it worked like a charm. It's sublimely simple, free, foolproof, and easily adjustable. You just cut a scrap of PVC pipe about two to three inches long. That's it. Put the bit in the chuck, slip the pipe over the bit, and hold the pipe up against the drill's snout. Position the bit and the pipe up against the edge of your workpiece to check the length of the exposed bit. It might sometimes be easier to juxtapose the pertinent item with the exposed bit. To adjust the depth of the hole, just move your bit in or out of the chuck. If you need more adjustment than that, use a shorter or longer piece of pipe. Test your hole depth on a piece of scrap. Once it's right, go to town on your real workpiece. The pipe will center itself on the chuck. How long should your piece of pipe be? That depends on the contour of your drill snout, the length of the bit you're using, and the depth of the hole you want. A short pipe is for short bits, a long pipe is for long bits. I used half inch diameter pipe, but other sizes should work about as well. When you're cutting the pipe, whether you use a saw or a cutter, make sure both ends are square. To check, stand it up against a square. If you use a chop saw, cut slowly. By the way, this cabinet required 144 holes. 48 holes clean through the center divider and 48 limited holes a piece in the left side and the right side. And they all had to line up just right so the shelves wouldn't wobble. I didn't want to drill 144 holes. So I clamped the wood for the right side to the center divider, marked my 48 locations on the center divider, and drilled each hole clear through it and 3 8 inch into the right side. To keep each hole perpendicular to the wood face, I leveled my work surface and kept an eye on the level on the end of my drill. The pipe jig guaranteed the depth would be right, so I only had to keep the drill plumb. It all worked great. Let me know how it works for you.